Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today Gina Young is gonna show you all how to make Jack mackerel patties. I've never tasted it before. I have no clue what it tastes like. I'm really not sure whether, does it taste like salmon? You know, do you cook it like you would a salmon patty? But we'll just see. We're just gonna kind of wing this video. And this is to show you all that even if you've never made it before, even if you've never tasted it, you can do the same thing just like I can. Everything that I can do in this kitchen, you all can do as well. Absolutely you can. Here's what you'll need to make Jeannie Young's Jack Mackerel Patties. Here's the ingredients that you will need. You will need some onion, as well as bell peppers, and I have a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. Me personally, whenever I make some type of patty, like when I make my salmon patties, I love to see that beautiful color of the green and the red going all throughout my patties. So, but what you wanna do with these is you, in your onion, you wanna give them a nice saute. You wanna chop them up and then saute them in just a tiny bit of olive oil and get them a little soft. Because if you put these vegetables in raw, the patty will be done before your vegetables and basically you'll have a done fish patty but your vegetables won't be cooked so that's why i like to give them a nice saute let them cool down and then we put them in the mixture and then everything is cooked okay that's 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 a really good key now you will need some eggs i have some olive oil sea salt cracked black pepper garlic powder Old Bay seasoning, Italian style garlic bread crumbs, and you can see over here on the plate, I have some flour as well as the Jack mackerel. Now, the Jack mackerel looks like this in the can, and it does have some juice in it. I've taken the juice out, okay? So I've poured the juice out. Let me show you what it looks like when you put it onto your plate, okay? Make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. What you wanna do is lie them in this, in this manner. And if you open them, I wanna be very detailed so you all can understand those of you that have never made this before. And this is the same for salmon patties. When you open it, you will find the bones. And literally, you just grab these bones. They come up very easily. Watch this, okay? They come up so easily with no problem. Now, there's people out there that love these bones. These bones are not like any other fish bone. They're a nice, soft bone that you can digest. So a lot of people just literally, they smash these bones up and they eat them, okay? But me personally, I wanna take mine out, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the bones out of each one in this manner, and then I'm gonna come this way, and I'm gonna take as much of the silver skin that I can take off of the outside, just like this. Now, you can leave that skin on if you like, okay? It's really up to your discretion, but I'm gonna take as much off as I can, just like this, all right? I'm gonna continue to do the others, and then when I'm all done, I'll come back and I'll show you how to finish up with our beautiful Jack Mackerel patties. Okay, everybody, we have all of the bones out, all right? I have as much of the skin off that I could take off. What I couldn't take off, hey, I didn't worry about it. Let's set this aside because what we're gonna need to do, let's start cutting our vegetables so that we can get those nice and sauteed because um, you want them to cool down before you put them into your mixture, okay? You don't want to put this sauteed vegetables hot into your mixture because we're going to have egg in our mixture and we don't want to make scrambled eggs. So let's go ahead and get this chopped up and sauteed up. It only needs to saute literally for a good eight minutes and that's good enough, okay? Now, if you want big pieces, feel free to use big pieces. I'm just gonna do not too big, not too small, okay? And you don't need a whole lot. 
I'm actually going to use that much of the red and just a little bit of the green and we're going to chop up our onion as well and everything will get sauteed together in a little saucepan just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. It's beautiful outside. The birds are chirping and the sun is shining and God is good, right? So it can be a better day. Today is awesome. Today is awesome. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Absolutely. Okay. So then let's chop this up. And I think I'm not going to use too much of this green bell pepper either. I don't need that piece. The other pieces that I push aside, I just normally, I'll put them in a the freezer bag and use them for a later date when I'm cooking. I can always use leftover bell peppers. I love to freeze them. Okay, there's that. That's the amount we're going to use there. And then we'll chop up our onion as well. Beautiful. Now, when I make my salmon patties, and I know we're not making salmon patties, I use the Maggie Pollo, which is a chicken bouillon flavor, and I absolutely adore that flavor in my salmon patties. But since I've never tasted Jack Mackerel before, I feel like I need to taste it first before I use Maggie Pollo. I wanna taste it and know what it tastes like, you know, what the texture and everything is before I use Maggie Pollo. But if you want it to, absolutely you can use it. Okay, it's really up to your discretion. All right, that's about how much onions I'm gonna use. Now I have a pan here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in our pan. Just a little bit. We're gonna get our vegetables sauteing up in here. Just like so. Jack Mackerel Patties is on the menu for the Young's House for lunchtime today. And we are so excited. On the side, we're going to serve just plain white rice. I know a lot of you say you like to have mashed potatoes or potato salad with yours. Now, and I'm also seeing that there is a lot of people that like to eat Jack Mackerel Patties for breakfast, which is really interesting. Okay, so there's my patties. I have them on, or, or here's my vegetables. I have them on medium high. I'm just going to saute them up for about eight minutes. Okay, everybody, let's start <clears throat> to make our patty mix. So you want to go in with the fork. Just give it a nice mash because you don't want any big pieces, okay? We're not making meatballs here. <laughs> All right, so make sure you chop it, and you know, you don't have to do it this way. You can use your hands if you like. Absolutely, you can. Beautiful, just like this. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is season. And our season is gonna be sea salt. And make sure you put enough in there so you can taste the flavor, you know? Don't be afraid to season your food. Cracked black pepper, put your nice amount in there because you got a nice amount of fish here to season. You want to be able to taste that pepper. Absolutely. Garlic powder, you have to have garlic powder. Garlic powder makes everything taste beautiful. There you go, get right on in there. <clears throat> Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning goes great with any type of fish. Absolutely, you can use Old Bay seasoning in here. Oh yeah. That's about enough, just like so. I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice. When I tell you all just a little bit, just a little bit. That little bit will go a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put an egg. 
okay? And then we're gonna put another egg as well. Beautiful. All right, now, let's peek in over here on the stove. You wanna take a look at the vegetables. Give them a nice turn or so. And your vegetables will start to get nice and translucent. And what translucent is, it's where your onions start to get clear in color and your vegetables will start to get a nice deep color and look soft. See this here? We're almost there. We're gonna turn this off here in just a second and let it cool down. If you want it to cool down faster, hey, throw it in the refrigerator for five minutes. It'll cool down and then you can proceed with your uh, mixture. All right, I'm throwing some rice in the pan behind me. Okay, everyone, my vegetables are nice and sauteed. You wanna put them on a saucer, throw them in the refrigerator for about five to seven minutes so they can cool down and then we'll finish. Okay, everybody, what I did was I put my sauteed vegetables in the freezer for five minutes. They're nice and cool. Now we can mix them. Okay, so just toss them in just like so. Any of those oils from the vegetables, toss that in as well. That's all flavor. We're, bu we're building flavor on top of flavor. All right, my rice is just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. <clears throat> All right, now here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our breadcrumbs in. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you the measurements of everything that you're gonna need in the description below. But when I make it, I'm just gonna eyeball it because I know exactly how much I need. But I will give you all measurements, all right? So we'll do it that way. Now you're gonna go ahead and mix everything in and make sure that you get that egg and these seasonings well incorporated, okay? Just like this. If you feel like you need more breadcrumbs, hey, put you some more breadcrumbs. But I'm gonna show you what to look for when you put the breadcrumbs in because you want it to stick together. You don't want to make the patties and they fall apart. And that egg and these breadcrumbs are what's going to be your binder to hold these Jack Mackle patties together. So what you want to look for is you want to go in with your hand and grab some like this, okay? See that there? If this stays together, see how we can do this? It's good enough. You don't need any more breadcrumbs. If you do that and it falls apart, then you might want to put some more breadcrumbs in, okay? So that's how that works. But get it well incorporated because you don't want any egg pieces that didn't get cooked if you didn't mix it well. And then what I like to do, and, and some of you might like to use the cornmeal. Um, what I like to do is after I make my patty, we're going to dredge them just a little bit. We're just going to put a little bit of flour on both sides so we can get that nice, beautiful golden brown crust that we all love on Jack Mackerel patties, all right, or salmon patties. So if you didn't want to use the flour, absolutely you can use cornmeal, okay? But me personally, I really don't like the grit of the cornmeal between my teeth okay so now we're going to start making patties i'm going to do up maybe four or five patties just like this <clears throat> you can make them all, all the same size you can make them different sizes if you make them into a little bowl like we had earlier the demonstration that would be called a croquette but if you make it this way, like a hamburger patty, that's called a patty, all right? The little ones are croquettes. These big ones here that look like a hamburger patty are called Jack Mackle patties, all right? So here's what you're gonna do. See how it's staying together just like this? You're going to 
take the flour, make sure that it's packed well together so it doesn't fall apart on you, okay? Now, you take a little bit of flour and you just dredge it just a little. You only need a little bit. And some of you might say, but what about the sides? You don't have to put it on the sides. Don't worry about that, okay? Just make sure you get it um, on the top and the bottom. This is what it should look like, okay? So we're gonna do several of these off camera, and then I'll come back. We're gonna get these fried up, and we'll give them a taste. I'm gonna let you all know what it tastes like. Be right back. Okay, we have all of our, we have three patties made. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the last one, okay? Just in case you didn't see the first one, you're just gonna take it and pat it together, just like you would a hamburger patty, all right? Pack it in tight so that it doesn't fall apart. See that? That's how it should be. That's the texture it should be. And make sure you do the thing where you toss it up because that'll let you know early on if you're gonna need more breadcrumbs. But two eggs is always what I like to use, okay? Then we're gonna go in here, sprinkle you a little bit of flour once again on the top and the bottom. If you can get it on the sides, it's okay, but you don't need it, all right? Just like this. Now, we want to start heating our pan up to a medium-high heat if you haven't done that yet. You're gonna need some olive oil or vegetable oil. Any kind of oil that you wanna use would be just fine. And we're going to fry these. <clears throat> you don't wanna turn these up onto a meat, you don't wanna turn these up high and you don't wanna cook them low. If you cook them low, they'll fall apart. If you cook them too high, the outside will get done and the inside will be cold. All right, so medium high is that perfect temperature that you're gonna to wanna to use. Okay, everybody, now what you're going to want to do is let's put our patties in. And be careful when you put these patties in. You don't want to burn yourself or anyone that's in the kitchen with you, okay, because that grease gets hot. So don't splash it in there. Just be real gentle, just like this, okay? And you see I put my olive oil in the pan, all right? Just kind of put them down this way and then slide them off with your fingers. Just like that. Now, nor, uh, you're gonna naturally wanna go in with a fork and a spatula right away, you know, looking at the bottom to see if it's done. Don't worry about that. You don't have to do that. And the reason why is because this patty will tell you when it's ready to flip because what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a nice, beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom and that will indicate that the bottom is golden brown and it's time to give it a turn. Once I start to see that golden brown ring in the bottom, I'll come back, we'll give them a flip. Okay, everybody, I wanted to tell you something about this. Now, you would think that this would have a fishy smell. This does not have a fishy smell. It smells beautiful. It smells like you have, like you're frying a piece of chicken. So that's what's great about this. You don't have to worry about the smell. Okay, everybody, now on a couple of these, I am starting to see that beautiful golden brown color that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and give it a nice turn. Okay, see that there? And be gentle, be gentle, okay? Just like this. This is what they should look like. Very quick, simple, easy recipe to make. You can do the same thing. See that there? Beautiful, my goodness. And like I said, about the flour, that flour is gonna give you a nice crunchy outside. Let me bring it close to the camera so you all can see. See that? That's beautiful. And you can see those beautiful bell peppers going all throughout. That's why I like to put the peppers in. And, and it gives it a nice taste as well. Okay, everybody, let's take a peek in at the other side. Oh, nice and beautiful, nice and golden brown. And now, here's the thing, some might get done before the others. If one of them's not done, just let it go, okay? Just let it keep cooking until it's done. Let's see, it's looking like these ones here are done. 
beautiful. My goodness. Ooh My mouth is watering, so I know you all's mouth has to be watering. Here's what we're going to do. I have a cooling rack, and when these come out of the oil, they're going to go on the cooling rack. And the cooling rack will allow air to circulate all around that Jack Mackerel patty, and it won't let the patty get soggy. Because if you take this out of this oil right now and you put it on the plate, what's going to happen is the bottom's going to get soggy. So you put it on a cooling rack, air will circulate around it, it'll stay nice and crispy on the top and the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and take some of these out. This one here is not done yet, and that's okay. I have all the time in the world to let it cook. All right, don't rush when you're in that kitchen. Have patience, like I always like to say. Hey, listen here, if you can have patience in that kitchen, trust me, you're gonna have some good food. You're gonna have some good cooking. All you need is patience. This last one is going, when it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, our last one is done. I'm gonna bring this close to the camera so that you all can get an idea what it looks like. See that thickness? That's the thickness that you want it. Like I said, feel free to make the croquettes if you want to, the little tiny ones. This one here is the patty. Look at that, my goodness, look at those vegetables going, oh wee. And you got that nice crispy outer and the inside's gonna be nice and soft and well seasoned. Okay, let's take and transfer our patties to a platter, just like so. If you want it to squeeze lemon on here, you can. You can put hot sauce on here. You can mix mayonnaise and hot sauce together. Some people like ketchup. You can put this on a bun with cheese. You can enjoy this like I'm gonna enjoy it today with white rice on the side. Let me show you this. Jack Mackerel Patties 101. Hey, listen here, if you never had this before, you better make you some. Absolutely you should, it's so easy. All right, now let's dig in. We're gonna say a blessing before we dig in. God bless this food. Lord, we thank you for your blessings, your love time, your mercy and your understanding. We thank you for the roof over our head and the food that you feed us. I thank you, Lord, for my YouTube family, and I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, everybody, let's dig in. I have this perfect one in mind. Look at this here. Right over white rice. Look just how beautiful. My goodness. Let's see, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon juice. If you want it, hot sauce, anything you wanna put on yours, you can. Just a little sprinkle of lemon juice would do me. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. look at that. Let's dig in. And you gotta have you a little bit of rice with this. I have jasmine rice on the side. If you wanted to do brown rice, that would be fine as well. Taste this. Look at that, look how beautiful. I cannot wait to give this a try. Oh. Mmm. 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 Now, I was expecting a flavor like salmon. This is not like salmon. It has its own separate taste. This right here is something I'm definitely going to make again. It is so delicious. Mmm. And I kind of feel like... Mmm. 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 I feel like this is really moist. It's not as dry as salmon. Wow, this is amazing. Let me try again. Mmm. 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 Ooh-wee, you better make you some. Mm, mm, mm. This right here make you smack somebody. My goodness. The outside is so crispy and the inside is nice and soft and seasoned. Oh, my goodness. I hope you all go out today. Run out and grab the ingredients so that you can make this. It's so delicious. 
Mm, 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 mm. And put you some plain white rice on the side. Sometimes what I feel like when you have something that's so flavorful like this patty is, the best thing to have on side would be a plain potato or a plain white rice. You don't want two things are, that are competing against each other, you know? Mm, 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 mm. This right here, my goodness. I'm so glad you all introduced me to Jack Mackerel. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this, guys. Mm, doggone it, this is good. Where have you been all my life?